I say Sega 100 times every morning makes my teeth white. <laughs> How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. I am a huge fan of the Sega Genesis and they have these flashboards available now so you don't have to worry about soldering or EEPROMs or anything like that. Thanks to Retro Stage. We're gonna check one of these out right about in this video. <laughs> I would say right now, but it's not really right now. I, I'm too busy rambling on and everything. So they come up with these carts too and these carts are glorious and beautiful. Here's what these uh, flashboards look like. And there's all kinds of stuff going on with this board. A couple of toggle switches as well. And up in the corner, it'll tell you what the toggles do, depending on the size of the game, as well as uh, looks like if it saves or not, too. Um, interesting. Well, we're going to try this out with a few different games, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Now, first of all, the battery is not in there, so I'm going to place a battery in there. This is a uh, 2032. Snaps right in place. And uh, let's pop this in using our Flash Programmer and see how it goes. Now, the blaster from Retro Stage... Well, there's nothing in it right now because it comes with all these adapters. You can do like the, the NES and Nintendo 64 and the Game Boy with Game Boy Advance capabilities. Uh, this one here is your Genesis one, and you have to kind of align it. You can see the little notch there. See the little notch there? Just put it right in place. Crazy Eyes helps me. There we go. All right, plug it in, check it out. So with everything plugged in, with it in place, um, I have my Retro Blaster 2.0.1. Now you can download it through the Retro Stage website and it has the, how to install it depending on what kind of computer you have. I'm actually working on a Windows 7 machine, so I have to install the drivers manually, but very easy to do. Just have to double click on a thing. Um, here's a bunch of options here. Look at this, you can do Nintendo, Game Boy, like I said, Nintendo 64 even. And we're doing Sega Genesis, so we're on Genesis. And there's also a dump ROM. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But let's write a ROM on here. Now, uh, this thing will take up to 4 meg games. Fortunately, that's pretty much all they've ever had for the Sega Genesis is 4 meg games. And one of my personal favorite games of all time is a game called Haunting, starring Polter Guy. So the very first thing it does, it erases the cart. And this doesn't take too long. That was easy enough. Now we're writing the cart. This shouldn't take long at all either. Got the progress bar rolling on. All right, that took less than a minute, 44 seconds. Now for this, just because it was handy, I'm gonna use my Super Retro Trio 3 Plus. The chips face in front of you. You could put a, pop it back in that one thing if you would like to. And because this game doesn't use SRAM, it doesn't save or anything, there's no save states or anything, um, I don't need to worry about any of the toggle switches. And this should. I say should work. Oh, there we go. Got scared there for a second. <laughs> there we go. Haunting, starring Polter Guy, my favorite. Love that classic Genesis sound. Seriously, if you're not familiar with this game, you just jump inside things and you try to scare the family out of the house. You just have to use your scare powers. Just jump into anything you want. It's the then he looks over there and sees there's something going on. Gets all scared. Oh, wait a minute. What's he going to see? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Just make his heart race and get the family out of there. That's your house. And one other thing about Sega Genesis is there are so many great Sega Genesis hacks on here. Here's Dr. Robotnik's Creature Capture. We'll give that a shot. And pop it in there. Just, you know what? For this one, I'll, I'll actually pop it back in the shell just for fun because we can. I won't put the screws on it though. There we go. Pretty cool for a Sega Genesis game. <laughs> Dr. Robotnik's Creature Capture. Pretty fun game that somebody made. And for something like this, I might actually have to um, use one of the toggle switches to make sure that it saves. But for the purpose of this video, I can still play the game just so I can show you what it looks like. So in this, you play as Dr. Robotnik, which is good news for me. But it's kind of like the prequel. It's like you have to capture all the animals. So there's one. All right, I got to put it back, put it back in the capsule now.
There it is. Got one left somewhere. Come on, buddy. It's not over there. Uh-oh. Gotta find the finish post. There we go. <laughs> Fun game. And then we also have the option to dump ROMs. Well, we can try that. So we're going to dump this. I'll put it right on the desktop. I'll just call it um, NHL. I think it's like NHL 19. This was like one from last year. And although, believe it or not, I don't really have a Genesis emulator on here. So I'm going to take that ROM and write it onto our new flashboard and see if that works. And if it does, that means it works. You know, maybe you find like a, a Genesis, uh, like a Genesis game that nobody's dumped before, or maybe you have uh, a game that you're just all about it, you know, or you just want to dump the SRAM so you can save it for later. So that's like about 30 seconds, a little bit over. There's my NHL game that I just found. Gonna write this onto here and see if we got a new NHL game on our uh, on our flashboard. Could it be NHL 19? Again, I, I need to do the toggle switches. I'm gonna save the game at all. But there you go. So if you have a game that you want to dump as well, the team who does this every year they are phenomenal. Shout out to you guys for sure. Keeping it up to date. I've got a lot of love for Sage Genesis. Got it right there. Welcome to the next level. And with something like this, with Retro Stage, you can make anything you want to that next level. In fact, you can just get one of these in lieu of an EverDrive. Just put it on here, play the game through. Maybe you want to play Contra Hardcore. Maybe you want to play like a like you know Guardian uh, Heroes or whatever. Play it through, beat it, dump it, you know, erase the game, put something else on here. Kid Chameleon or something like that, you know. Uh, cool to have and nifty to have and very, very uh, cool. <laughs> it takes the guesswork out of a lot of it. And you don't have to worry about touching soldering irons or have to worry about solder or get the EEPROM programmer and all that. You just get one of these, get the programmer, get whatever you want for the Sega Genesis. How cool is that? And like I said, a lot of great hacks on there too. So a lot of reasons to keep coming back to it. This is one of the many features on this channel. So I thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for more stuff always coming up. I appreciate you and everyone who looks like you. Take care. We'll see you.